Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Today we will talk about catfish. The vast majority of the specimens commonly known as catfish belong to the order Ciliuriforms. These comprise 33 families, 400 genera, and more than 3,000 species, 1,200 of which live in America, where they are also called bagres. Catfish have evolved and adapted to various environments. It lives in habitats ranging from white water streams to poorly oxygenated swamps. They are found mainly in freshwater environments of all kinds, with species on all continents except Antarctica. Two families, the Aridae and the Plotosity, are mainly marine, but the rest live in freshwater. Of characteristic barbels, which extend on each side of the upper jaw and, in some species, also of the lower jaw, similar to the whiskers of a cat, explain the name catfish. These whiskers are called filamentous barbels, which are essential for their subsistence, since they are sensory organs, which allow them to detect food. Dorsal and pectoral fins are often provided with pointed spines, which are used for defense and can cause serious injury. Species such as stone catfish or Hara jordoni and Noturus have not only pectoral spines, but also poisonous glands. They are able to use their swim bladder to produce sounds, and they have a complex set of bones that form a sensitive hearing system. Their skin is extremely tough and has no scales. Some have shallow plates that act as armor to guard against predators. Their teeth are small and numerous. Catfish are usually dull in color, although some of the North American species are brightly colored. The Cryptopterus minor is unique in its appearance, almost his entire body is transparent. Their bone structure and nervous system are easily visible, and the internal organs of these fish are encased in a reflective silver sack. Size varies between the different species. Most of the smaller species are no longer than 5 inches long, in fact some are less than 2 inches long. On the other hand, there are species such as, the Danube catfish, Silurus glanus, which reaches a length of up to 6.5 feet long, and a weight of up to 400 pounds, or 180 kilograms, and the Mekong catfish, Pangasianid and Gigas, that can reach up to 10 feet long and weigh 550 pound or 250 kilograms. Regarding its longevity, catfish can live from 7 to 15 years. Catfish diet is based primarily on aquatic insects, crayfish, mollusks, crustaceans, and smaller fish. Smaller catfish consume invertebrates, while larger ones can eat fish. Contrary to popular belief, carrion is not their main food. They often feed on the surface or in shallow water, and even, on occasions where food is abundant, such as near preys, they congregate. However, it should be noted that, with so much variety, so dispersed in the world and found in so many different environments, their diets are also very varied. For example, white catfish, Amyris catus, feed mainly on fish. Amyris natales are scavengers. Pylodictus olivaris often feeds on other catfish. Some species such as Ancestrus cirrhosus and Hypostomus plecostomus feed only on algae or plant matter. Ictalurus punctatus and blue catfish, Ictalurus fricatus, feed mainly at night.
Spawning habits vary by species. But generally, spawning occurs in rivers and streams during the spring and early summer when the water is warmer. Being able to spawn also in larger lakes where there is a suitable habitat. A female can lay between 2,000 and 21,000 eggs, which hatch between the 6th and 10th day, depending on water's temperature. The male is the one who chooses the nesting site, often a natural cavern or hole, cleans the nest and protects the eggs and fry until they leave the nest, when having a week of life. Some catfish, such as Cynodontus multipontata, have a very unusual breeding habit. Breeding pairs eat fresh cichlid eggs and replace them with their own eggs. There is no parental care on the part of these catfish, they are totally dependent on surrogate or adoptive parents. When buying a catfish for your aquarium, it is essential to know its habits. Most of them need logs and other accessories to be able to hide. We must remember that these fish spend most of their time at the bottom of the aquarium. Placing fine structures such as gravel will help them adapt better and this will also prevent them from getting hurt. Water must remain clean with good oxygenation. It is for this reason that a good quality filtering system is necessary if we want to ensure its survival. Diet In many aquarium stores we can find specially designed food for catfishes that are balanced and are very useful for fish care. The size and capacity of your fish tank. If your fish tank is small, the most suitable are colctids, since they do not tend to grow too large, they are quite active and remain at the bottom most of the time. Most small and medium-sized catfish species are compatible in a community tank. Instead, some larger species can be aggressive or predatory. If, on the other hand, you have a large aquarium, the best ones are the Placostomus, because they are larger and of spectacular beauty, although they are nocturnal. Their maintenance is easy and they are compatible with other fish. For those who want to have miniature sharks the Pangacity family is recommended. Of course, a voluminous fish tank is required given the large size they can reach. To increase the color of your fish tank you can choose those of the Pseudopimilotidae family. They stand out for their orange and black stripes, popularly called, for this reason, be catfish. Catfish main predators are large fish, birds, reptiles, mammals, and of course, humans. Most catfish species that are listed on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's IUCN Red List fall under the least concern category, LC. However, there are cases like Pangasianidin gigas, previously named for its enormous size. In fact, it is the largest freshwater fish in the world. This species lives along the Mekong River in Southeast Asia, and the health of these fish is inexplicably related to the health of the river. A large number of dams, either under construction or planned, threaten the species by blocking catfish's natural migration path. The sudden increase in the construction of hydroelectric dams in the Mekong could cause the extinction of the species. The species is on the IUCN list as a critically endangered species. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos. If you've learned a lot from this video, give us a like and share it with your friends.